exactly is gauge and like how is it determined? So your gauge is a measurement of how many stitches per unit of length, whether you're using millimeters or inches, you're getting when you craft. This tells us if my head is 20 inches around, how many stitches am I gonna need to get 20 inches around my head for a hat or something? So this is what we're measuring gauge. And a lot of times you can find little things like this to measure your gauge. So you're measuring, oh, where'd my little swatch go? How many stitches you get in a row and how many stitches you get how many stitches you get per row and how many rows you can get per, let's just say inches, per inch. So stitches per inch is on this little, oh, I don't think that's very clear, but that's what that says. So you're measuring your stitches per inch. So when you're looking on a yarn label, so they're saying that the gauge that you can get for this. They're, they're not recommending a product, a project. This is just what they've recommended. For knitting, usually they'll list the knitting gauge and the crochet gauge. It might be on the same picture, but it says 18 stitches. So if you use on the knitting gauge, it says US 8, those are the size needles they recommend. Um, has five millimeter above that, so they're trying to give you some uh, metrics. Um, 18 mm. stitches, four inches, I'm sorry, four inches by four inches. So they think mm. you should get 18 stitches per four inches. Okay. And that you should get, on this bottom part, it says 24 rows. Mm per four inches using a size eight needle with this yarn. Okay. And if you're making a gar if you're making a garment and they say you should get 18 stitches per row, you know, per four inches and 24 rows per four inches in this pattern, I think this they recommend stockinette. They didn't say that, but I think that's the standard. So then you know if you're getting more or fewer stitches than that, you're going to have to make an adjustment if you want to make a garment the same measurements that I give you. If I write a pattern and say your hat should be this big to fit normal heads, so a head this size should fit this hat with this gauge. If I'm getting more than this or less than this, my hat's going to be bigger or smaller than that what they've written the pattern for. And you, make, you just make a simple adjustment. Maybe I need to go down a needle size. Maybe I need to go up a needle size to get what they recommend as gauge. If I want my garment to measure finished what they have written this pattern to be. Sound a little jumbled, I'm sorry. Got it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That it took me a good. long time to understand gauge. I still don't do um, knitting confession. I still don't do swatches very much because I knit the same, I tend to knit the same things over and over again. I knit hats, I'll knit cowls, I'll knit things that, bl blankets where gauge doesn't matter. I do enough math in my, my day, you know, day-to-day -day life where knitting, I'm, I, sometimes it's just a little too much for me. So I just let that go. That's bad, okay. but... It's true. But if you're so, going to knit sweaters and things, it's a simple, it's simple math. You know, you just kind of measure out what you're getting versus what they think you should be getting to get a garment of similar size. And it's just fiddling. Nobody can tell you my gauge. Nobody can tell you, you know, it depends on the yarn, depends on the needles, depends on if I'm relaxed that day. It depends on if I'm stress knitting and you know, everything's tightened up and things like that. It depends. I've come back to a project and my gauge has changed. You know, I was relaxed, you know, oh, OK. 
okay, come back. And I'm like, oh, these people. Oh. That's how she uh, is. Just all the time. Arg. Arg. I say arg too. Arg. Apparently. So that's a quick and dirty explanation of gauge. It is just the stitches per inch, the stitches per measurement that they think you should be getting with this yarn, with these needles to get a garment this size. Perfect. Nice.